And today we're going to talk about the PlayStation 5. Because what? Because I have seen a lot of people on the internet... Roasted me in my comment section explaining to me as to why the PS5 is complete garbage. <laughs> saying this is the worst PlayStation generation. By far. Pound for pound. Exclusive versus exclusive. If you compare this to the PS1, the PS3, the 4, or even the 2... It's so bad that it's even worse than the PS Vita, man. I'm trying to tell you people, man, if any of you guys have been gaming on any previous device before the PlayStation 5, bro, there is a severe lack of games on this platform. Stop using remasters. Stop using remakes to increase the, the high quality games that you people have when people already have access to these games already, man. Matter of fact, I go as far to say that I was one of the few people in this community telling you people about how Sony's getting away with cross-generation games for PS4, porting them to the PS5. But guess what I got called, guys? An Xbox fanboy, even though I was being nothing but honest with you guys, man. It's about time that we had this real conversation with all you fanboys putting your fanboy agendas aside. Therefore, that means games still want another W. Like every other generation that Sony has put out has definitely been a lot more exciting and jam-packed. But I want to talk about this because I have seen this swirling a bit, and I think these people raise some good points. But oh, wow! Let's discuss. Hi, hope you're having a great day. Pio discussing it. Uh, this guy is a big PlayStation fan. I, I wouldn't say he's See, a now look at the problem right there, man. A lot of those games are on... PC. I mean, we're talking about four years within this console generation with the PS5. And we're talking about Returnal. Are you saying Forbidden West, PS4, Grand Tour, PS4, God of War Ragnarok, PS4, 16, exclusive, uh, Spider-Man 2. Really? This is all you people had? I mean, you could have added Miles Morales to that, but that was a PS4. This is embarrassing, man. I'm sorry, bro. The PS4 launched for way more games than this. This is embarrassing. Fanboy, because he's definitely willing to criticize Sony when they screw up. But yep, unlike you until now. To but this go ahead. Act, this is now four years into the PlayStation 4 generation. Now, wow. The PlayStation 5 generation. It came out in 2020. Here we are in Imagine, I really do feel bad for the people that picked up a PS5 for over $1,000, man. You guys have to be the biggest joke <laughs> in this community if you actually went out there and paid more, any more than 1000 for these consoles. 24, and it has been a pretty good set of games overall, no, but it no, does feel like all. we don't quite have as many Big budget bangers, not as many things that are actually grabbing headlines. That are I selling. mean, there's a few big budget games. You got God of Ragnarok and Forbidden West, but the only problem with that Dreamcast, guys, the fact that those are PS4 titles. Those are PS4 games. Now, if you want to talk about big heavy hitter, you know, PlayStation 5 exclusives, Final Fantasy 16. I mean, you could even add it for Spoken in there. Uh, Rebirth, another example, and... Um, Ratchet and Clank, that's, that could have probably been done on PS4 personally. Um, yeah, that's really it. Helldivers 2 is a double A. So there it is. Like I told you, man, where's The Last of Us Part 3? Where's Uncharted 5? Where are these games, man? Where are the games that we know Sony is capable of doing? We, ain't, we haven't seen them. Days Gone 2. Where's these top-of-the-line exclusives? Because the only one that you guys really got was Spider-Man 2, and even then, that game won no awards. <laughs> tens of millions of copies. Like... I have actually bought, played, and beaten every single game on this list. I've actually platinum enjoyed Bloodborne. Now, what you'll notice is that a lot of these games are definitely not ones that people discuss today. See, uh, now I have I have no problem with Until Dawn being there for PS4, but I have a problem with it being there for probably PS5 because, like I said, it's not a new game. But at the end of the day, look, Nat, Kills on Drive Club, Infamous, Bloodborne, Until Dawn, Order 18... These games was touted as next generation games. Gravity Rush 2, you know, Last Guardian, Shadow of the Beast. You feel me? These were games that were known for taking advantage of the PlayStation 4's hardware. I don't feel like I see really people talking about Mac 2 or The Last Guardian or Shadow of the Beast. But I feel like even if you kind of... And that's not even it either. Where's Uncharted 4? I mean, there's a lot of games that this list is missing, man. That just goes to show you the volumes of the PS4 in comparison to the PS5.
regard a lot of these games. The PS4 was so good that they had to port the same games over again for the PS5. There was still a lot of interesting quality to the early years of the PlayStation 4. Now, this first couple years, wow. what you'll notice is I think part of the disappointment that people are feeling is the second party exclusives. Like, if you No, know, because Sony's not even dropping their own, man. I want to see Uncharted 5. I want to see Last of Us Part 3. I want to see a Days Gone 2. I want to see an actual God of War exclusive that actually takes full advantage of the PS5 hardware. That's what I want to see. I don't want no cross-generation garbage because that's all I'm seeing from right here, man. Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok. I mean, come on, man. Really? Is this what you people really gaming on PlayStation, man? I mean, this is an embarrassment, man. I'm sorry, bro. Four years of owning this beloved platform, and this is all you people can play. That's not even taking into account what type of genres pe people like, man. You'll probably be lucky if one person buys at least one of those games. Is killing it. Because even if you're not aware of it, Sony is still way out in the lead. They've sold almost 60 million PlayStation 5s, and I still almost feel like this is starting to become a detriment in a way. Woo! Told you. GameStop, what another W. Because you know why? Because for all those console sales that Sony do have, ain't none of them picking them up for exclusives. I tried to tell you guys that this was a problem going on with Sony since the PS4 has been announced, but all you people can do is call me an Xbox fanboy. What are you going to do? Argue with Dreamcast guy now? We know that this man is a huge PlayStation fanboy. What are you people going to say now? Because at the end of the day, every single real gamer out there, we can see the truth and reality. It's about time you people start accepting it. It does feel like the more that there's tons of tens of millions of PlayStation consoles being sold, Sony seems less obsessed with cranking out good games. Because now they're going to make money on licensing. Any game you sell on the PlayStation 5, even if it's not theirs, they get a big cut of it. Every time they sell a copy of Call of Duty or a Fortnite Battle Pass, that generates literally billions of dollars. Now you have to ask yourself, what is the point of a console? And like you just said, that's the reason as to why these consoles still exist. But like I said, man, how long is it going to take for these consoles to be like, you know what, man, we're done with Fortnite. We're done with these games. What's going to happen with the PlayStation brand? Like I said, man, all PlayStation and Microsoft's going to be is an application that you log in through your phone or whatever device that you have. I tried to explain it. Didn't I try to explain it to you guys that consoles are going to cease to exist and how everything is going to merge into an ecosystem no matter where you decide to play your games? GameStop with another W. I try to warn you people. Because at the end of the day, regardless if you guys claim that Sony make the best games in the world, people are not buying them. You guys took the whole Phil Spencer interview and flipped it to be more of a PlayStation fanboy console war narrative. When all he said, it doesn't matter. We can make the best games for the Xbox. That's not going to gravitate people towards their platform because these people are still playing Fortnite and Call of Duty. They do not care about those type of games, man. Regardless of how good they may look. Because you know why? The gaming community has always been fake. And eat, as you guys can still see, that it's still very much a niche hobby. Don't let it fool you. Don't let those Fortnite followers and all those season battle passes fool you. At the end of the day, there's less gamers like that and 99% of gamers like them. And that's who they're trying to cater to. Tony. So yeah, cranking out something like Spider-Man 2 also makes them a good chunk of change because they get 100% profit on that. But it, it almost feels like Sony's in the spot where wow. they're, they're not as pressured to achieve. Like personally, I, I still think Ghost of Tsushima is one of my favorite PlayStation games of all. Yep, and we haven't even heard from a Ghost of Tsushima 2. Instead, we get a Ghost of Tsushima director's cut, a PS4 version of a game. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. I mean, at the end of the day, no matter how you PlayStation fanboys try to spin this, we know that you guys got a lack of games. Time. I mean, it is so good. I just think the art, the combat, it, it is to fill the gap. Like right now, you know, they just put a bunch of retro games onto the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Uh, I made a video talking about this. I think the premium service is good, 
but this is definitely just a band-aid on the lack of exclusives. Wow. I feel like so much of people are not happy with PlayStation because of two separate reasons. Tell us. I do feel like there was this FOMO. There was a fear of missing out when the PlayStation 5 was about to release. Everybody was like, okay. Yeah, everybody jump. Wow, man. See? Give everybody give Dreamcast guy a round of applause, man. These are the type of videos that we want to see coming from you, man. Informative, articulate. Like these are the type of videos that we want to man. I at this point, I'm gonna go subscribe to his channel. These are the type of ways that you do your videos, man. Like I said, this is much better for you, man. Stay out of that console war garbage. I'm telling you. Because at the end of the day, you was losing a lot of your integrity, man. You was. I'm going to be honest with you, man. And that's why every time you looked at his comment section, there was always people roasting him. No matter what it was. <laughs> it is what it is. But this type of content that he's doing now is perfect for him. The PS4 did absolutely kill it. I, I don't know how anybody could deny it. The uh, the PlayStation Four was not just great; it had sound. See, but the, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a counter to that. It was good because remember, remember when those games came out, God of War, Fortnite was still new, Apex Legends, all these free to play PUBG. These games were still new, Dreamcast guy. But once these games got popular, what do you think happened? People bought Spider-Man and God of War for the PS4. Have you noticed that people are starting to buy less games? Ever since those popular free-to-plays have come out, now gamers have become inclined to play games entirely free. Look at First Descendant. That game's not having any problems because the game is free-to-play. You put a price tag on it, I don't think the game would be successful. It is what it is, man. I've actually called this out even when Warframe came out. I'm like, oh, wow, look at this high-quality game that happens to be free. When a bunch of other games come out, come out and they start to do this formula, watch. You're going to see a shift in gaming, and that's what we're starting to see. Thousands of extremely good games. A lot of them ended up going on sale and being dirt cheap and stuff like that. My point is the fact that everybody tried to jump on board day one with the PlayStation 5. They wanted yeah. to play everything on it. People are literally lining up for hours to get it day one. Was this worth the investment? It was Saving up, buying these exclusives. Do I feel like wow. I've gotten... More fun with my PlayStation 5 than I got with my PlayStation 4. Wow. I think that's a valid question. Especially because a lot of these games do run on the PlayStation 4. Wow. I've never thought Dreamcast guy would ever... Bro, man, you know these ponies is crying right now. Dreamcast guy, how could you do this to us? <laughs> How could you do this to us? You should have stayed strong, man. Y'all should get Porter Rock to try to make a reaction video on this, man. I mean, that man probably have a heart attack. <laughs> these games are also on the PS4. It's not like these oh are must-have, hardware necessary super bangers. What? I think the future of the PlayStation 5 is oh, still going man. to be good. Uh, oh, I think, man. obviously, we're still only four years into what's probably going to be at least maybe like a six-year or maybe even eight-year generation. But mm. I, I have heard rumors that maybe the PlayStation 5 Pro might get delayed, that it might not be released this year. Yeah, there's no point for it, man. Which, in a lot of ways. And what I mean is the fact that the Nintendo Switch uh -oh. had... Don't tell me this man's about to switch size. Hold on, guys. Y'all see this? Oh, no. He's pulling out the Switch copies. Don't tell me Dreamcast guy is about to switch sides it's now. a million exclusives. Literally every single game here is made by PlayStation, or sorry, is made by Nintendo. This is literally just a smattering I grabbed at random. Uh-oh. Nintendo guy much? You know, he went from Dreamcast guy to Sony fan guy to now Nintendo guy? What the? There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Nintendo exclusives. Uh-oh. And I feel like people are starting to get a bit jealous, where it's not even about <laughs> liking these games or hating these uh -oh. games, but something like Luigi's Mansion 3, this sold 15 million copies. That's facts. The zeitgeist, the attention, the love, the community for Nintendo games is just something that doesn't exist in the PlayStation ecosystem Woo! right now. Let's go! Game still with another W, man. We have finally recruited Dreamcast Guy 
in regards to the rest of these fanboys, man, if he keeps making content like this, I'm going to have to find somebody else to talk about. <laughs> At least in my opinion. He has been relinquished of his gaming sins. There is not the same <laughs> level of hype and fervor and excitement that exists mm. for the PS5 mm. as existed for the PS4. Is it a bad generation? No, but... I... It, it is bad, bro. It, it, come on. It, it's a bad generation, even for Xbox, bro. It's a bad It's a bad generation for everybody. Even for Nintendo Switch, man, but they have, an, they have an excuse because they're waiting on their next upgrade, right? But, I mean, in regards to Xbox, I mean, Xbox is just kind of getting started. You feel me? So, I mean, yeah. I mean, even Xbox Series S and X have been kind of, eh, mediocre at best. You know, it's just starting to get good now for us. But, man, like, I mean, PlayStation, man, if you're used to having the same output of games that you've had with PS1, 2, 3, PS Vita, and even PSP, then, yeah, you most definitely could have noticed this a long time ago. I think we're all leaning a bit heavier on the third party this year than oh. we did the previous generations. But oh. this has just been an off-the-cuff rant. Oh, as let's I go. Let's go.